सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक ऑफ साइंस फॉर क्लास सेवन एंटाइटल्ड साइंस दिस इज लेसन टेन रेस्पिरेशन इन ऑर्गेनिजम्स फ्रॉम पेज हंड्रेड एंड एट टू पेज हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी लेट्स लिसन टू द लेसन टेन रेस्पिरेशन इन ऑर्गेनिजम्स पेज हंड्रेड एंड एट वन डे बोझो वॉज ईगरली वेटिंग टू मीट हिज ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स हु आर कमिंग टू द टाउन आफ्टर अ ईयर He was in a real hurry as he wanted to receive them at the bus stop. He ran fast and reached the bus stop in a few minutes. He was breathing rapidly. His grandmother asked him why he was breathing so fast. Bojo told her that he came running all the way. But the question got stuck in his mind. He wondered why running makes a person breathe faster. The answer to Bojo's question lies in understanding why we breathe. Breathing is a part of respiration. Let us learn about respiration. Ten point one. Why do we respire? In chapter two, you learned that all organisms are made of small, microscopic units called cells. A cell. is the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism each cell of an organism performs certain functions such as nutrition transport excretion and reproduction to perform these functions the cell needs energy even when we are eating sleeping or reading we require energy but where does this energy come from can you say why your parents insist that you should eat regularly the food has stored energy which is released during respiration therefore all living organisms respire to get energy from food during breathing we breathe in air you know that air contains oxygen we breathe out air which is rich in carbon dioxide the air we breathe in is transported to all parts of the body and ultimately to each cell in the cells oxygen in the air helps in the breakdown of food the process of breakdown of food in the cell with the release of energy is called cellular respiration cellular respiration takes place in the cells of all organisms in the cell the food or glucose is broken down into carbon dioxide and water using oxygen when the breakdown of glucose occurs with the use of oxygen it is called aerobic respiration food can also be broken down without using oxygen this is called anaerobic respiration breakdown of food releases energy glucose in the presence of oxygen becomes carbon dioxide plus water plus energy you should know that there are some organisms such as yeast that can survive in the absence of air they are called anaerobics they get energy through anaerobic respiration in the absence of oxygen glucose breaks down into alcohol and carbon dioxide as given here glucose in the absence of oxygen becomes alcohol plus carbon dioxide plus energy page 109 yeast are single celled organisms they respire anaerobically and during this process yield alcohol they are therefore used to make wine and beer our muscle cells can also respire anaerobically but 
only for a short time when there is a temporary deficiency of oxygen during heavy exercise fast running as observed in figure 10.1 cycling walking for many hours or heavy weight lifting the demand for energy is high but the supply of oxygen to produce the energy is limited then anaerobic respiration takes place in the muscle cells to fulfill the demand of energy glucose in muscle in the absence of oxygen becomes lactic acid plus energy figure 10.1 during exercise some muscles may respire anaerobically here we can observe a man running have you ever wondered why you get muscle cramps after heavy exercise the cramps occur when muscle cells respire anaerobically the partial breakdown of glucose produces lactic acid the accumulation of lactic acid causes muscle cramps we get relief from cramps after a hot water bath or a massage can you guess why it is so hot water bath or massage improves circulation of blood as a result the supply of oxygen to the muscle cells increases the increase in the supply of oxygen results in the complete breakdown of lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water 10.2 breathing activity 10.1 caution do this activity under the supervision of your teacher close your nostrils and mouth tightly and look at a watch what did you feel after some time how long were you able to keep both of them closed note down the time for which you could hold your breath you can observe this in figure 10.2 so now you know that you cannot survive for long without breathing breathing means taking in air rich in oxygen and giving out air rich in carbon dioxide with the help of the respiratory organs the taking in of air rich in oxygen into the body is called inhalation and giving out air rich in carbon dioxide is known as exhalation it is a continuous process which goes on all the time and throughout the life of an organism page 110 the number of times a person breathes in a minute is termed as the breathing rate during breathing inhalation and exhalation take place alternately a breath means one inhalation plus one exhalation would you like to find out your breathing rate do you want to know whether it is constant or it changes according to the requirement of oxygen by the body let us find out by doing an activity there's a thought bubble given here a picture of bojo is next to it bojo noticed that when he released his breath after holding it for some time he had to breathe heavily can you tell him why it was so figure 10.2 holding breath in this picture we can observe a girl holding her nostrils to hold her breath activity 10.2 Generally we are not aware that we are breathing however if you try you can count your rate of breathing breathe in and out normally find out how many times you breathe in and breathe out in a minute did you inhale the same number of times as you exhaled now count your breathing rate that is number of breaths per minute after brisk walk and after running 
record your breathing rate as soon as you finish and also after complete rest tabulate your findings and compare your breathing rates under different conditions with those of your classmates table 10.1 changes in breathing rate under different conditions there's a table given here in this table there are two columns and five rows the column 1 tells us the name of the classmate the column 2 has been divided into four parts the first part is normal the second part is after a walk for 10 minutes the third part is after running fast 100 meters and the fourth part is at rest in the fifth row the word self is written here you have to write your own readings from this activity you must have realized that whenever a person needs extra energy he she breathes faster as a result more oxygen is supplied to our cells page 111 it speeds up the breakdown of food and more energy is released does this explain why do we feel hungry after a physical activity when you feel drowsy does your breathing rate slow down does your body receive sufficient oxygen on an average an adult human being at rest breathes in and out 15 to 18 times in a minute during heavy exercise the breathing rate can increase up to 25 times per minute while we exercise not only do we breathe fast we also take deep breaths and thus inhale more oxygen activity 10.3 figure 10.3 tells us about the various activities carried out by a person during a normal day can you say in which activity the rate of breathing will be the slowest and in which it will be the fastest assign numbers to the pictures in the order of increasing rate of breathing according to your experience figure 10.3 variation in the breathing rate during different activities in the first image a woman is washing clothes in the second image a man is sleeping in the third image an old man is walking in the fourth image a young girl is running in the fifth image a man is climbing a ladder and in the sixth image a man is reading a book there's a thought bubble given here a picture of paheli is next to it paheli wants to know why we yawn when we are sleepy or drowsy 10.3 how do we breathe let us now learn about the mechanism of breathing normally we take in air through our nostrils when we inhale air it passes through our nostrils into the nasal cavity from the nasal cavity the air reaches our lungs through the windpipe lungs are present in the chest cavity you can observe this in figure 10.4 This cavity is surrounded by ribs on the sides a large muscular sheet called diaphragm forms the floor of the chest cavity you can observe this in figure 10.4 breathing involves the movement of the diaphragm and the rib cage during inhalation ribs move up and outwards and diaphragm moves down This movement increases space in our chest cavity and air rushes into the lungs. The lungs get filled with air. During exhalation, ribs move down and inwards, while diaphragm 
moves up to its former position. This reduces the size of the chest cavity and air is pushed out of the lungs. You can observe this in figure 10.5. These movements in our body can be felt easily. Page 112 Take a deep breath. Keep your palm on the abdomen. Feel the movement of abdomen. What do you find? After having learned that during breathing there are changes in the size of the chest cavity, children got involved in the chest expansion competition. Everyone was boasting that she or he could expand it the maximum. How about doing this activity in the class with your classmates? Note, smoking damages lungs. Smoking is also linked to cancer. It must be avoided. Figure 10.4 Human Respiratory System Here we can observe a human and his respiratory system. At the top, inside the nose, is the nasal passage. Below it is the oral cavity. Further down, near the throat, is the pharynx. Below that is trachea. Further below are lungs. They are behind the ribs. At the bottom is the diaphragm. The air around us has various types of unwanted particles such as smoke, dust, pollens, etc. When we inhale, the particles get trapped in the hair present in our nasal cavity. However, sometimes these particles may get past the hair in the nasal cavity. This may irritate the lining of the cavity, as a result of which we sneeze. Sneezing expels these foreign particles from the inhaled air and a dust-free, clean air enters our body. Take care. When you sneeze, you should cover your nose so that the foreign particles you expel are not inhaled by other persons. Page 113 Activity 10.4 Take a deep breath. Measure the size of the chest with a measuring tape. You can observe how to do this with the help of figure 10.6 Record your observations in table 10.2 Measure the size of the chest again when expanded and indicate which classmate shows the maximum expansion of the chest. We can understand the mechanism of breathing by a simple model. Figure 10.5 Mechanism of Breathing in human beings. In this figure, we have two pictures of human lungs. In the first picture, we can observe that air is drawn in. Then the ribs move out and the diaphragm moves down. This process is that of inhalation. The figure B helps us understand exhalation. In this, the air is forced out, ribs move back and the diaphragm also moves back. Activity 10.5 Take a wide plastic bottle. Remove the bottom. Get a Y-shaped glass or plastic tube. Make a hole in the lid so that the tube may pass through it. To the forked end of the tube, fix two deflated balloons. Introduce the tube into the bottle as you can observe in figure 10.7. Now cap the bottle. Seal it to make it airtight. To the open base of the bottle, tie a thin rubber or plastic sheet using a large rubber band.
Table 10.2 Effect of breathing on the chest size of some classmates There is a table given here. In this table, there are two columns and four rows. The first column has the name of the classmate. The second column, size of the chest in centimeter, has been divided into three parts. During inhalation, during exhalation, difference in size. Page 114 Figure 10.6 Measuring Chest Size Here we can observe two boys. One of them is measuring the chest size of the other one. To understand the expansion of the lungs, pull the rubber sheet from the base downwards and watch the balloons. Next, push the rubber or plastic sheet up and observe the balloons. Did you see any changes in the balloons? What do the balloons in this model represent? What does the rubber sheet represent? Now, you should be able to explain the mechanism of breathing. 10.4 What do we breathe out? Activity 10.6 Take a slender, clean test tube or a glass or plastic bottle. Make a hole in its lid and fix it on the bottle. Pour some freshly prepared lime water in the test tube. Insert a plastic straw through the hole in the lid in such a way that it dips in lime water. Now blow gently through the straw a few times. You can observe this in figure 10.8. Is there a change in the appearance of lime water? Can you explain this change on the basis of what you learned in chapter 6? You are aware that air we inhale or exhale is a mixture of gases. What do we exhale? Do we exhale only carbon dioxide or a mixture of gases along with it? You must have also observed that if you exhale on a mirror, a film of moisture appears on its surface. From where do these droplets come? There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. Bojo wants to know how much air a person can hold in the lungs. Figure 10.7 Model to show mechanism of breathing. In this figure, we can observe two plastic bottles. In the first bottle, the balloons are filled with air. In the second bottle, they seem to be deflated. There's a rubber sheet at the end of both the bottles. In the first figure, we can observe the rubber sheet is protruding out. In the second figure, it is protruding inwards. Breathe for better life. Regular traditional breathing exercise or pranayam can increase the capacity of lungs to take in more air. Thus, more oxygen can be supplied to the body cells, resulting in release of more energy. Page 115 Figure 10.8 Effect of exhaled air on lime water. Here we can observe a child exhaling air within a test tube. He is doing this with the help of a straw. There is lime water within the test tube. The percentage of oxygen and carbon dioxide in inhaled and exhaled air. The inhaled air has 21% oxygen and 0.04% carbon dioxide. The exhaled air has 
16.4% oxygen and 4.4% carbon dioxide. Our lungs help us in inhaling and exhaling air. 10.5 Breathing in other animals Animals such as elephants, lions, cows, goats, frogs, lizards, snakes, birds have lungs in their chest cavities like the human beings. How do other organisms breathe? Do they also have lungs like those of human beings? Let us find out. Cockroach A cockroach has small openings on the sides of its body. Other insects also have similar openings. There's a thought bubble given here. Bojo wants to know if cockroaches, snails, fish, earthworms, ants and mosquitoes also have lungs. These openings are called spiracles. You can observe them in figure 10.9. Insects have a network of air tubes called trachea for gas exchange. Oxygen-rich air rushes through spiracles into the tracheal tubes, diffuses into the body tissue and reaches every cell of the body. Similarly, carbon dioxide from the cells goes into the tracheal tubes and moves out through spiracles. These air tubes or trachea are found only in insects and not in any other group of animals. Figure 10.9 Tracheal System Here we can observe a cockroach. Inside the cockroach we can observe the coiled wire-like trachea. Earthworm Recall from chapter 9 of class 6 that earthworms breathe through their skins. The skin of an earthworm feels moist and slimy on touching. Gases can easily pass through them. Though frogs have a pair of lungs like human beings, they can also breathe through their skin, which is moist and slippery. Page 116 There's a thought bubble given here. A picture of Bojo is next to it. Bojo has seen in television programs that whales and dolphins often come up to the water surface. They even release a fountain of water sometimes while moving upwards. Why do they do so? 10.6 Breathing Underwater Can we breathe and survive in water? There are many organisms which live in water. How do they breathe underwater? You have studied in class 6 that gills in fish help them to use oxygen dissolved in water. Gills are projections of the skin. You may wonder how gills help in breathing. Gills are well supplied with blood vessels for exchange of gases. You can observe this in figure 10.10 Figure 10.10 Breathing organs in fish Here, behind the eyes of the fish, we can observe the gills. 10.7 Do plants also respire? Like other living organisms, plants also respire for their survival as you have learned in class 6. They also take in oxygen from the air and give out carbon dioxide. In the cells, oxygen is used to break down glucose into carbon dioxide and water as in other organisms. In plants, each part can independently take in oxygen from the air and give out carbon dioxide. You have already learnt in chapter 1 that the leaves of the plants 
have tiny pores called stomata for exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. There is a thought bubble given here. A picture of Paheli is next to it. Paheli wants to know whether roots which are underground also take in oxygen. If so, how? Like all other living cells of the plants, the root cells also need oxygen to generate energy. Roots take up air from the air spaces present between the soil particles. You can observe this in figure 10.11. Figure 10.11 Roots absorb air from the soil. In this figure, we can observe soil particles. They are placed together and are in different shapes. Beneath them are root hair. And between the soil particles is the air space. Page 117 Can you guess what would happen if a potted plant is overwatered. In this chapter, you learned that respiration is a vital biological process. All living organisms need to respire to get the energy needed for their survival. Key words Aerobic respiration Anaerobic respiration Breathing rate Cellular Respiration Diaphragm Exhalation Gills Lungs Inhalation Spiracles Trachea Ribs What you have learned 1. Respiration is essential for survival of living organisms. It releases energy from the food. 2. The oxygen we inhale is used to break down glucose into carbon dioxide and water. Energy is released in the process. 3. The breakdown of glucose occurs in the cells of an organism. This is called cellular respiration. 4. If the food is broken down with the use of oxygen, it is called aerobic respiration. If the breakdown occurs without the use of oxygen, the respiration is called anaerobic respiration. 5. During heavy exercise, when the supply of oxygen to our muscle cells is insufficient, the food breakdown is by anaerobic respiration. 6. Breathing is a part of the process of respiration, during which an organism takes in the oxygen-rich air and gives out air rich in carbon dioxide. The respiratory organs for the exchange of gases vary in different organisms. 7. During inhalation, our lungs expand and then come back to the original state as the air moves out during exhalation. 8. Increased physical activity enhances the rate of breathing. 9. In animals like cow, buffalo, dog and cat, the respiratory organs and the process of breathing are similar to those in humans. 10. In earthworm, the exchange of gases occurs through the moist skin. In fishes, it takes place through gills and in insects through the trachea. 11. In a plant, the roots take in air present in the soil. Leaves have tiny pores called stomata through which they exchange gases. The breakdown of glucose in the plant cells is similar to that in other living beings. Page 
hundred and eighteen. Exercises. One. Why does an athlete breathe faster and deeper than usual after finishing the race? Two. List the similarities and differences between aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Three. Why do we often sneeze when we inhale a lot of dust-laden air? Four. Take three test tubes. Fill three fourth of each with water. Label them A, B, and C. Keep a snail in test tube A, a water plant in test tube B, and in C. Keep snail and plant both. Which test tube would have the highest concentration of CO two? Five. Take the correct answer. A. In cockroaches, air enters the body through one lungs, two gills, three spiracles, four. Skin. B. During heavy exercise, we get cramps in the legs due to the accumulation of one carbon dioxide, two lactic acid, three alcohol, four water. C. Normal range of breathing per minute in an average adult person at rest is. One nine to twelve, two fifteen to eighteen, three twenty one to twenty four, four thirty to thirty three. D. During exhalation, the ribs one move outwards, two move downwards, three move upwards, four do not move at all. Six. Match the items in column one with those in column two. Column one. A. Yeast. B. Diaphragm. C. Skin. D. Leaves. E. Fish. F. Frog. Column two. One. Earthworm. Two. Gills. Three, alcohol. Four, chest cavity. Five, stomata. Six, lungs and skin. Seven, trachea. Page hundred and nineteen. Seven, mark T if the statement is true, and F if it is false. One, during heavy exercise. The breathing rate of a person slows down. Two, plants carry out photosynthesis only during the day, and respiration only at night. Three, frogs breathe through their skins as well as their lungs. Four, the fishes have lungs for respiration. Five. The size of the chest cavity increases during inhalation. Eight. Given here is a square of letters in which are hidden different words related to respiration in organisms. These words may be present in any direction, upwards, downwards, or along the diagonals. Find the words. For your respiratory system, clues about those words are given below the square. Row one. S. V. M. P. L. U. N. G. S. Row two. C. Z, G, Q, W, X, N, T, 
L row 3 R M A T I D O T C row 4 I Y R X Y M S R A row 5 B R H I A N T A Y row 6 S T P T B Z R C E row 7 M I A M T S I H A row 8 S P I R A C L E S row 9 N E D K J N S A T 1. The air tubes of insects. 2. Skeletal structures surrounding chest cavity. 3. Muscular flow of chest cavity. 4. Tiny pores on the surface of leaf. 5. Small openings on the sides of the body of an insect. 6. The respiratory organs of human beings. 7. The openings through which we inhale. 8. An anaerobic organism. 9. An organism with tracheal system. 9. The mountaineers carry oxygen with them because a. At an altitude of more than 5 km, there is no air. Page 120 b. The amount of air available to a person is less than that available on the ground. c. The temperature of air is higher than that on the ground. d. The pressure of air is higher than that on the ground. Extended Learning Activities and Projects 1. Observe fish in an aquarium. You will find flap-like structures on both sides of their heads. These are flaps which cover the gills. These flaps open and close alternately. On the basis of these observations, explain the process of respiration in the fish. 2. Visit a local doctor. Learn about the harmful effects of smoking. You can also collect material on this topic from other sources. You can seek help of your teacher or parents. Find out the percentage of people of your area who smoke. If you have a smoker in your family, confront him with the material that you have collected. 3. Visit a doctor. Find out about artificial respiration. Ask the doctor. A. When does a person need artificial respiration? B. Does the person need to be kept on artificial respiration temporarily or Permanently. C. From where can the person get supply of oxygen for artificial respiration? 
4. Measure the breathing rate of the members of your family and some of your friends. Investigate. C. If the breathing rate of children is different from that of adults. D. If the breathing rate of males is different from that of females. If there is a difference in any of these cases, try to find the reason. Did you know? For us, oxygen is essential. But for those organisms which do not use it, oxygen is toxic. In fact, for humans and other organisms, it may be dangerous to breathe pure oxygen for long. The chapter 10 of total 18 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator Akash Ahuja Producer Vandana Arimardan Presented by C.I.E.T. N.C.E.R.T. New Delhi, India